All right, guys, there's some weird, weird stuff going on right now regarding this image and some video footage that was sent to me this morning. So I'm gonna explain that to you and what has happened in the past 24 hours. So the image that you're looking at now was sent in to me yesterday by a 16 year old kid off the Gulf Coast who's partying on a boat with his parents for their parents' anniversary right off the coast of Pasadena, Texas. The kid saw this object illuminated by the moonlight over the ocean. He took this picture at maximum zoom. It's the best picture he could get. He was surrounded by ocean, dark skies, with nothing but the moon above to provide some light, which thankfully illuminated this thing. And he took a picture of it. At the time, he couldn't tell if it was a drone because it was so far away. And even from looking at the snapshot on his phone, he still couldn't tell exactly what it was. Uh, thankfully, uh, he's a young kid and he knows secure team. Uh, a lot of people out in Texas know secure team uh, because of some of the footage that we've gotten that's come from Texas, uh, some very explosive footage that we've published recently. So thankfully this kid, he sent it in to us and we thought, hey, it's a pretty cool image. There's nothing special about it, of course. It's, it's not video. There's no context in the image, but still, it's a very clear image of a UFO. So we went ahead and we posted it to our Twitter account last night, probably about two or three in the morning. So we posted it to see if any of our other viewers had maybe responded to it. Got up today, checked our Twitter, the image is completely gone, deleted from our account. Nowhere to be found, as if we had never posted it. So I'm sitting here wondering what the hell is going on. The image is gone, and I'm starting to wonder. I'm starting to wonder why the image was taken down. This image was completely deleted uh, within minutes of posting it. I'd say within 15 minutes of posting this image up online, it had gotten maybe one favorite and one retweet. So I know it posted successfully, and I know it had been seen. And I know a few of you who were on Twitter last night saw the image, so you can back me up on this, and you have, because I did get a couple messages from you guys saying, hey, where'd that image you just posted go? Because you couldn't get access to it. So we're sitting here trying to figure out why. Now, of course, we have backup copies of the image, but we're wondering why and who deleted our image from our Twitter account. So while this is going on, I'm checking the secure team email address, which you can always find down in the video descriptions of all of our videos. And I get an email from a second source with a video that was taken today at about noon over land, over Pasadena, Texas, of the same exact identical UFO. Now, aside from just looking at the two images and the two pieces of footage and being able to discern plain as day that this is the same UFO, there's two very interesting similarities between these two UFO sightings in that when both of these pieces of footage were captured, the cell phone of the sources who captured them went dead moments later. In the email from the source who took the still image right off the Gulf Coast, about two or three miles off the coast at about one in the morning, explained in his email to me that it had only been two or three seconds after he had snapped the zoomed in image of this UFO that his cell phone went dead. And he explained in his email he wasn't sure if that was because of this craft or if it was just some freak occurrence or if his battery was simply low. But needless to say, he felt the need to add that into his email about what had happened. And I'm glad he did, because when this video came in, I heard verbatim almost identical testimony to the fact that only a few seconds after this recording was taken, the source's cell phone went dead. Now, this was recorded over a suburban area over to Pasadena, Texas, by a man who was out walking his dog who saw this, and two, thought it was a kite or a drone, but like most curious people who like to take pictures of these things, he took out his camera and thankfully, started recording. Now what we have here is two snippets of video, but they're both from the same source. The first piece of video, which is longer than the second, is a panned out version before he got the chance to even zoom in. He started recording this thing, and only moments later, his phone went completely dead. So after a few minutes, he was able to power back on his phone, and luckily the craft was still there. This time, he zoomed in, hit record, and he got a maximum zoom shot of this UFO, which once again, you can see here is identical to the one captured off the Gulf Coast the same one that was deleted from our Twitter account last night. And this time, the source states, and as you can see in this video, he was only able to record for a few seconds before his phone went completely dead for a second time. And this time, the source stated that he could not power back on his phone, even after he went back home having to leave the craft, even though he wanted to record it some more and get as much footage as he could, his phone would not turn back on. Even after he went back home and plugged it back in, he still didn't get a battery signal for at least 20 minutes later. So I don't know what to say regarding this footage. This UFO doesn't look like a drone to me. Uh, it's a metallic-like structure. It's got some sort of green glowing center. Uh, it definitely sure as hell doesn't look like a kite. Um, and the fact that two separate sources had the power supply to their electronics cut off in the process of recording this thing is uh, too coincidental for me. So I'm gonna say we've got something big here. Add that to the fact that an image was deleted off our Twitter account last night to which we found no remedy. Twitter is telling us nothing and we are getting nowhere. So I guess 
We just have to live with the fact that an image we posted was deleted, and for all I know, this video could be deleted momentarily. So my advice to you guys is to share this video, take a snapshot of these UFOs, and let me know if you have seen a similar craft in the area. If you're in the area of Pasadena, Texas, and you've seen this thing, please send us in your pics or footage. I have no doubt that we will be getting much more images and footage of this thing. This is a mass sighting, and somebody is trying to cover it up. That is for damn sure. So once again, contact us at Secure Team. You can get us through Facebook, Twitter, or our email account. And stick with us because we're in some very interesting times and I have a feeling that things are really starting to heat up here. So stay tuned. We've got more coming. We'll update you guys as soon as we get more footage of this thing as well as information. So keep your cameras up the ready and stick around. We'll see you soon.